Hello! Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video from My Favorite Things. Today I'm showing some fun distress oxide techniques to create a dimensional underwater scene. So let's get started. First, I'm lightly blending tumbled glass and peacock feathers distress oxide ink randomly over a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm not too worried about covering the whole panel at this point, as I'll be adding a lot more colors later. I just want some light coverage with those colors. Then I splatter the panel a few times with water and dry it with my heat tool. After it's totally dry, I stamp a few fishes from Friends with Fins with Versamark and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder. They're hard to see right now, but as I add more ink blending, they'll really start to pop. Next I come back in with more ink blending, this time adding Salty Ocean, Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and even more peacock feathers and tumbled glass. I layer and overlap the colors together to create even more shades. After I finished blending, I buff the ink off my embossed fish, and you can see where the embossing powder has resisted the ink, so my pale blue and teal fish are now visible. Again, I dried it with my heat gun and splattered it with water a few more times. Then I taped the Sunray stencil over the top of the panel and blended a little salty ocean and tumbled glass distress oxide ink over the stencil to create some light rays in the water. Since my stencil isn't quite big enough to cover the whole panel, I made sure to fade out the ink towards the bottom of the stencil so I wouldn't get harsh lines. Then I removed the stencil and added a little more tumbled glass ink over the top to soften the edges. Next I placed the panel in my overspray box and splattered it with chip sapphire and peacock feathers to stress oxide ink. I let that dry and then added splatters of white gouache. I love the dimension that the splatters add to the background and it really starts to bring the scene to life. I set that aside to dry and worked on the rest of my card. Off camera, I stamped the two dolphins from Friends with Fins and colored them with Copic markers in shades of toner gray. I started with my darkest shade first and then blended out to my lightest. Once I had all my colors down, I went back in with the other darker colors to get a smoother gradient. After coloring, I die cut them with the coordinating dynamics.
Once my background panel was totally dry, I trimmed it down to four and a quarter by five and a half and arranged my dolphins on the panel. Then I stamped a few more fish and heat embossed them with silver sparkle embossing glitter. I also added a sentiment from Friends with Fins, stamped in Versafine and heat embossed in clear embossing powder. Finally, I adhered my dolphins to the card to finish the underwater scene. One thing you'll notice in my finished card photos is that I realized my card was missing some of the darker chip sapphire shades, so after I finished filming, I used a blending brush and a very light hand to add a little chip sapphire on the top of the card. The brush allowed me to add the darker shade without losing all the dimension from the water and paint droplets. And that's it. You can find more information on the supplies I used in the YouTube description below. I hope you enjoyed my card today. Thanks so much for watching, have a fabulous day, and happy crafting. Bye.